Hello Zebra Herd, welcome back to Forager. I never noticed a little guy like basically moves to the music. Look at how cute he is. He's like, mm, this is my jam. Anyways, there is so much to be doing in today's episode, so I can't spend too much of it blabbing. Um, because if I you know, you can see right here on top of the screen, we got a a chest to be opened. We have some like weird dungeons to check out that we've never seen before. So lots of cool stuff on the to-do list. First off, let's make a key. And uh to sort of figure things some, some things out as we go. Uh, like that, and doing some of that. Oh, another emerald. Very nice, and a topaz. That's uh, We've got a lot of topazes at this point. So that one isn't too crazy. Dig up 50 items, cool. See, there's lots and lots to do, as there always is, right? <laughs> but I'm gonna try to get to as much of it as I possibly can. So there's a key. Let's check out our chest here. Get another topaz, and uh, iron. This area is like totally cleared out, so I definitely need to like leave it be for a little bit. But uh, let's find out. Ooh, stamina vessel, max energy increased, very good. So now I can actually do more with, you know, before having to eat, which is gonna save me a ton of food. I mean, I hope, I mean, I guess I want to save me more food, theoretically. I mean, if I keep on using the fairies, it will. So, you know, it'll restore that and it'll last for longer. So good to keep in mind. I don't know if leveling up restores your stamina, but that doesn't happen too often at this point, so it won't matter too much. Oh, no, I'm sorry, chicken, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> so I was swinging at the thing, and then you ran up to me, and it scared me. I swear that they run towards you when you're using your ax. Like, why would you do that, chicken? That's not a good time. Okay. Hmm. So, yeah, great progress so far. I wanna be able to, how many tangerines do we have? Oh, I need I need a good chunk more than what I currently have, so I'm not gonna worry about that. Uh, I wanna just make sure this is gonna continually make coal while I'm gone, because uh, it's been making 50 coal, and it's almost done that 50, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's make like 10 more bricks, and then also, oh, we got plenty of iron ore to work through, so let's make like 20 iron. And then once it's done this coal, I'm gonna head out this way, and uh, well, I'm gonna head out this way right now. Uh, see if we can't get some more skeletons to pop up, because that happened last episode, which was cool. Uh, oh, pumpkins! Nice, we need a lot of these as well. We need 50 of those for the museum. But, um, oh, there we go, there we go, okay. Oh, I wasn't ready for them still. We one hit take those guys down, though. But, uh, yeah, I wanna make sure the stuff is happening while we're gone, if this is, like, something that takes up a lot of our time, is going in this little thing. I mean, maybe time is totally frozen when we're in there and not too much will happen. I'm not really sure. But I can only imagine that's not the case. Oh, oh, I just got him. I took him out with the pickaxe. How crazy is that? That made it super easy. I don't know if I found this thing like like really late and it's supposed to be something that, you know, I'm supposed to run into earlier in the game or something, you know? Sometimes feels that way. How many pieces of steel I can make? I can make five. I need to do that then. Um, So I'm gonna go ahead and pick up this stuff and use up as much of my stamina as I can. Cause it feels like they're not spawning in fairies as much or maybe I just used way too many of them. Uh, dude, get out of here. All right, so we're hungry and I'm gonna get us some food in a moment. Well, actually I'm just gonna restore with you. There we go. So while this is all doing its thing, I don't wanna spend any more time on it. I wanna go down here. What is this going to be? Oh, it is a dungeon skull maze. Oh, was our stamina brought back down or no? Can I light these up? No, I don't have like a torch or anything. Uh, Well, I could try to mentally make a map of this. But for right now, I don't know if there's any way to light these torches. Also, I could plant trees with the saplings. I never realized that. Makes sense. Don't think it's something I want to do at the moment. Oh, hey, 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 hey! I don't know how I wasn't expecting you guys. Oh, that's so much experience, though, that's juicy. It's like seven or eight. Oh, okay, that time it was four. Maybe it did say four, it just sort of looked like it said seven or eight. Hmm, running into enemies is a decent sign, right? Did we go in a big circle? We went in a big circle. But now I know this is like the only way to go, is this path. Oh, hey! Whoa, nice! Is this the only way to go? Because I went down this way. No, I didn't. Yes, I did. Yeah, this is where the skeletons attacked. Gotcha. Okay. But that's it then. Unless I could find a way to light up these torches. Whoa, no, no, I guess I never went down this. No, that definitely wasn't how it was before. Well, I mean, I guess this way. Does this way lead to a uh, thing? 
No, this is 100% not what it was like before. 100%. It changed on us. Yeah, that's why it's called a skull maze. Oh, hello. I never picked up the other stuff the other guys dropped, but I was trying to figure my way through all of this. This is definitely changing the farther you get in. That is bizarre. I mean, I have a, ooh, a decent sense of direction. Me hitting everything, or taking things out in one hit, seems to be helpful. Okay, not this way. Well, actually, maybe I'm just pressing the wrong button. Oh, I am. I thought I pressed A. Here's why I don't like the Xbox controller. There's also a weird thing with this game, where instead of telling you to press a button, it just has like a little symbol of your character. So I guess lighting the fire would probably be helpful. I wonder if we get a reward for lighting all the torches then. Probably, should have been doing that this whole time, but I'm a dingus. Okay, get rid of all of you. We're getting a ton of bones for this though. So this is how you were supposed to get the bones. I do not know, oh that's another chest. That's not the same chest we found before. It'd be so cool if we could find a map. Like did they just go full on Legend of Zelda? Whoa, your inventory's full, buddy? This is not a good time to have full inventory. Eat a bunch of seaweed or delete it. It still doesn't, like it says that you can do that. Or maybe, it, oh, here we go. Sorry, seaweed. Yeah, okay, give me the ruby. Light this stuff up. I feel like I've gone to this area already and we found something totally different. But maybe I'm just crazy and I'm actually really bad at mazes all the time. Cause that definitely wasn't there before. If I go back up this way, will I see, see that big chest again? Okay, the chest is still there. So maybe I have just messed things up. I have a lot more left to explore. <laughs> oh boy. This is such a cool game. They thought of everything. What else do we got? Whoa, hello sirs. Don't be so rude. None of them have like landed a single hit on me. I don't think that's supposed to be all that difficult. I mean, you can only imagine we're still relatively early in the game, right? Maybe, maybe not. Got it, I don't need this fairy. Whoa, big dude, okay, that's where it gets scary. Is this fellow, whoa. Hiya, hoo -ah. I don't know what does more damage. Oh, I didn't wanna hit you with the, the shovel, the spoon. Okay, the sword definitely does more damage. Yikes, so he hit for two. Let me go ahead and snag you really quickly. That was scary. I could have made awful mistakes there. I would have totally regret it. Okay, here we go. So maybe it isn't a big circle. Choose a boon? What's a boon? Avarice, lose one max heart, gain a bunch of coins and gems. Or doom, lose one max heart, gain a bunch of demonic magic scrolls. Can I, can I say no to either? No, I gotta choose one. Coins and gems or demonic magic scrolls. I don't have the inventory space for either right now, gotta be honest. I mean, I have 650 coins. Do I really need more coins? I mean, the gems will be helpful in a, in a while. I just don't have the inventory space for this, so I'm so worried it would be a waste. I'm gonna be able to bring it. So let's just go ahead and do this. There we go. So my inventory space is full for those, but I can like I can make room for that, right? Um, that's like a lot easier to do. Um, what can I drop right now that I don't really need a lot of? Actually, I need a lot of all of this. Um, that's a that's a problem. Um, I could drop the leather. leather. I think that's my best bet. That's my best bet, pick up the 10 Topaz. Man, okay, so I need to make more inventory space. Next time we go in here, note to self. I mean, if I leave and come back, would that be a good idea? I don't know. I mean, we now have 925 cash. I don't know if that was worth it at all, but I didn't really, so if this guy hits me once. I don't trust this, I don't trust this. Oh, I don't trust this, oh, oh, oh. Oh, no, no, come on. My reach is so small for this guy. You'd think it would be fine because he's so big. Oh my gosh, but he gives me 44 experience. That's crazy. Doesn't give me the experience bar in this area. But if I leave, is that gonna be a problem? Am I going in a circle? I think I am. I'm doomed to go in a circle. I'm so nervous. I am like, ooh, because I do not want to lose my health. Because I thought it would be fine, but now I've lost a heart and there was no way to back out, I pressed the B button. I think we're getting to the end now. There better not be like a ridiculous boss fight of doom. Got that. I mean, or if there is, there's a fairy. 
The fairies are good to have around. So I'd rather not have to use that yet. Just gotta remember it's back there. I'm like so stressed right now. This is insane. It's cool, but like, you know, I've been talking about how easy and relaxed this game is. And then they throw this at me! Two of them? That's just not cool. Okay. I know they hit for two, which is why this is so horrifying. Yeah, gotcha. His friend's not following me, so I don't care. <gasps> Pathfinder, complete the skull maze. Skull seal awarded only to those who beat the skull maze. But what does it do? I don't know. Okay, well, I made my way out. I think actually it does pause all of this, so that actually didn't do anything for me there. Oh my gosh. That was crazy. I can't believe I had to get rid. Like, what does the skull seal do though? It's just right here, it's just a seal, skull seal. All right. Well, I guess we'll find out eventually, or maybe not. Very odd. But we did it, we completed the skull maze. No evil boss fight at the end or anything, I'm sort of relieved. Okay, well we have enough. We have enough to comfortably buy a new piece of land. I'm just gonna buy it here, 350. Ooh, what is this going to be? Um, Hello, slimes. You guys aren't too scary. So this, oh, foraging obelisk. Gain bonus experience from gathering herbs and crops. Only one obelisk can be activated at a time. Well, isn't that perfect? I love gathering herbs and crops. All right, well that's just a match made in heaven, right? All right, so were these count as crops? It's six experience still, so I don't think so. Uh, still very cool, that's our first obelisk, and now we have plenty of working room here if we wanted to build more stuff. That's nice as well. So lots of good stuff going on. So that should be three experience. Now wasn't it always three experience though? Maybe it wasn't. Got some bones. Maybe it was only one experience before. Three experience is good, I'll take it. Hmm. Building up more citrus, which I need for sure. There's just so much I need. <laughs> Still, it's been, oh, it's only for 10 minutes though. What happens after that? Can I never use it again? Can I turn it off for now? I can't. So I don't know what's up with that. Hmm. All right. His inventory is full. We all know it. It's the story of his life. Okay, dude, get out of here. Let's break this and then I'm gonna do that. Oh, we got another ruby out of that, thank you. There's so much to get. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna grab some of this stuff and then we're gonna turn around and we're trying to make another thing. Cause it doesn't really matter where the storage is, which is great because it just automatically zoops from my inventory into it. So I don't really have to have it in an organized spot. Which once again is what I love so much about it. I mean, I do need it for the museum once again, but that's not really as big of a worry. I mean, I'll try to keep everything organized with it as much as I can. But materials I'm not gonna need out constantly. I'm gonna put in there so like all of the ores will probably make the most sense. Got it, okay. Okay, so sapling dude, you need, how many how many saplings do you have right now? 24 to 30, so if I can make six more, which I think I can, I can make five more. <laughs> Perfect, okay. Well, I'll keep trying to get more soon. But in the meantime, slime guy is attacking me. No, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, it gave me all the materials back for it though. That's perfect. Thought it would maybe like give me a deficit, but it gave me exactly the same amount it seems. Oh, that makes four at a time. Oh, I didn't realize that. Okay, so I have enough for you. 32 out of 30. Thank you so much. You have sh saved the forest from those guys with the pickaxes. What are these? Whoa, two more chests. I'm gonna open up those soon, but I need to make room because they're probably gonna be stuff I can't pick up anyways. All right, we got more stuff, your inventory's full, yada yada. So down this way for sure. So let us just go ahead and farming, bridge, and this is at least an easy way to make a ton of experience. Level 19 now, perfect. Uh, there we go, this is a lot more like squared off now, which is what I wanted. So economic, vault, we also have the bank we need to figure out. 224 experience for that, how insane. So this one's gonna be our ore deposit. So actually it's not ore, it looked like the iron ore, it is not. Um, so we need the gold, the iron, the coal, and the rock. Beyond that, other base materials like, sto like not stone, uh, wood, and uh, what else could we put in there to round everything off? Let's just do the, uh, well not the tangerines, that'd be a bad idea. Uh, maybe leather? 
Hmm. Can I make another one? Economics. No. I need more steel. Which I can make more steel. Make one more for now, because that's all I needed. And then we can make a fish one. Oh, look at all these. So we have a lot of saplings now, right? Or maybe not. Where are they? 14, yeah, not too much, actually. Okay, sir, I don't even have to worry about you. You're not as much of a problem as you used to be. So I need to find a way to get more health soon, for sure. Okay, so we can make another one. Um, Economic vault, and just put it here. And this one's gonna be all fishing related stuff. Build 20 structures, Mason. Okay, sir, leave me alone. Got another bone. So we're almost out of time for our obelisk, and then it might just be totally busted. I'm not really sure. I hope not, that'd be sort of lame, because then it just puts a lot of pressure on me. Hmm. Okay, so let's figure this out. There's gonna be fishing related materials. So this, uh, that, what other fishing related materials do we get? Okay, maybe I should just make it food. So all of this would make sense. Perfect. That's in there. Um, and soon enough we can make more food, maybe we can make it like more animal-based food so I'd actually get the fish out of there and put it into there, so that might be good. In the meantime, we could put pumpkins in there, and that's totally fine. Uh, nice. Got some more fish. So I'll need to make a lot more stuff, like if I wanna make more steel, I mean I can, but I need more gold. So let's go ahead and make one thing. Not what I wanted, I didn't want one coal. I wanted 25 more coal. And then I also want we have plenty of gold, so I just need to, come on, oh, this controller, awful. 25 more gold, and then while I'm at it, 25 more steel or iron. Don't know why I wanna call it steel. There we go. Okay, so, big backpack is still on the to-do list. The leather, though, we should be able to get four leather. We don't have four leather, I had to drop it, I remember now, so let's go ahead and make more leather. Because right now, like, how many, how many fiber do I have? I only have two? No, no, I have much more than that, okay. So, if all I need for this big wallet is four more leather, one, two, three, four. That should be easy enough. I had to drop our leather because I didn't have inventory space for some more important things. But now that's not the problem. So if I have a full inventory, and like, say I have a full inventory and none of it, like I, I find a ruby, but I have a ruby in a chest, I wonder if I'll be able to pick that up. Anyways, we gotta find out what's in these chests. It might be something good. Break all of that, oh, oh, open this, hold on. Nice, we just get more of that. And even more, a thousand coins now. Do you have anything else for us? Hello, friend. I have a final quest for you. It involves finding a rare dinosaur egg. If I can get this egg, I will be able to raise and protect the creature. Dino friends are the best friends. A dinosaur egg, huh? Well, I will try to help you, but honestly, I've not found that yet, but probably under the ground. So as long as we keep, you know, digging things up sooner or later, that might turn up our way. So uh, I'll keep on, keep an eye out for you, buddy. Um, okay, so you're hungry. I really don't want to die from exhaustion. So do you have any fairies? I guess not. So that's why it might be good to. Oh no, I sold the fish. I should probably keep fish in my inventory. At least some of them. Maybe not all of them. Oh, there was a fairy right there. <laughs> okay. Well, I have that for later now, which is great. Also should probably look into whatever the next pickaxe is. I haven't looked at that at all. So, a little curious, to say the least. And I'm also very good for opening up another island. So we can try to figure that out soon. I can see why some of the islands are so expensive though with how easy at this point it is to, uh... oh hey, hey, lucky I got an easy dodge there because I didn't even see you. Oh, got some sand for that, cool. But um, yeah, it, it, I can see how some of the islands are so expensive with how much easier it is to earn money right now. I wonder if I could go back into the skull maze and get more stuff, probably. Don't know if it's something I actually wanna do, though. Oh, we got a pumpkin. It looks like there's a pumpkin growing as well. Uh, right here. That's pretty cool. Got another pumpkin. I need to find 50 of those for the museum. It does give me a check mark, so I can't go back in. So I guess I should have maybe been a bit more thorough with it. That's what the torches are for, to mark that you have found this area. Oh my, okay, no, he's fine, he's fine. <laughs> he got mad at me, but then he instantly got destroyed. You should eat indeed, so let's get you back this way. Uh, and that fairy is right there. I don't, I don't think you eat the fairy, I would sure hope not. 
And it looks like as my energy is restoring, it doesn't go down. So I definitely wanna break as much stuff as we can while it's restoring. That's a pretty cool little feature if it's actually how it works. Got another topaz. I have a lot of those now. It's insane. We still have a, a one last minute for this obelisk. I feel like, I swear that we were getting three experience before, but we must have not have been getting that. Hmm, oh well. Okay, so let's get up this way. Ready, boop. Nice, I like how the pickaxe just takes them out so easy. They can't even really try. The cactus still take three hits. Cause I feel like they took three hits before. But I could just do two hits and leave it be. I can let it burn, but I don't want to do that just cause I want to just get it done. I can just do one, two. And that time actually worked. Cause of burning, I sort of hesitated for a moment and just burnt the rest away. I don't know, maybe we should take a trip to the museum soon and see what else we can drop off, because I'm sure there's gonna be something. I know we need to like do a lot of like coal and stuff, because that just zooms way back. But I can still build things, you know, so very good. All right. So we got some iron and everything, so we should be good to make a good chunk more steel. How much more? 10 more, very good. So yeah, let's check this out. Oh yeah, we have checked this, your crystal pickaxe. I just have no way to make it at the moment. Gotcha. And then the glass, let's make like 10 glass, because I need to start putting some stuff in bottles and getting that done. Oh, I dug under it somehow, that was weird. There we go. And in the meantime, let's buy some more land, shall we? I'm sort of taking this also opportunity to look around a little bit. 320, 585, 840, 615, 480 seems good. Ooh, what is that? We're gonna find out in a moment. Uh, No, 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 hold on. Ooh, nice stuff. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure everything out. I feel like I'm like wildly running around because mostly I am. Our character is exhausted, so I'll try to help him out with some more fish. I would feel really bad if it turns out he doesn't like seafood very much. I don't like seafood very much. I wanna want anybody forcing me to eat it. Hmm. Yeah, let's go down this way. And let's check out our new area. I'll need to build some bridges. But building them is better than burning them. And it's also really easy experience. What is this? 372. Huh. Oh no, 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 I didn't wanna do that. I feel like that's a hint. Weird. 372. I mean, maybe that has to do with digging. Maybe that has something to do with the islands? I don't know. That's weird. I don't have any leads for that one. Let me know if you guys have any ideas. Hmm. But that does make me curious. We do have enough to buy another island. It's nighttime now. But I wanted to see, will this one also be desert? It will, so it sort of works. I'm guessing these two will also be dark-ish areas, you know? I think that's gonna be how it works. That's very cool. Uh, I mean, maybe that was just a total coincidence, but I don't think it was. I'm just trying to make everything easier for traversing. Just make it one cohesive place, you know? It's gonna be what's best, I think. Also, we have a skill point. We've had it for a while. I need to do that. Oh, it says I have out of 64 skill points, so I think I have a lot more progress I can make. What can I really do now that'd be good, though? Like, I can't do this one, can't do that one, can't do that, can't do that. I think it's, dark. it's time to start working on alchemy. Like we have inscription, unlocks inscription tables, and then alchemy unlocks cauldrons. I think we should try cauldrons and see what we can get out of it. Cause like none of this I'm like vying for. Novice potions unlocks novice level potions. Cool. Cause that should be in the magic category which we've never really poked around with. So we, yeah, we just need some bricks. That'll be fine. Like maybe that's some stuff we were supposed to get to in the game earlier on. And like I'm totally missing out. I don't think so. Like I feel like it's really at our own pace. Go ahead and get that, because I did take some damage at some point, apparently. Ooh, look at all that steel, thank you. And the glass. Hey, 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 yeah, I better have dodged that, that wasn't fair. <laughs> Jeez. I wanna see what else we can make here. Cotton seeds, beet seeds, so if we're looking for something specific, we can grow it. Um. Ooh, okay, so like pumpkin seeds. The thing is though, is that you need pumpkins, so would this actually be worth it? Animal feed, 
I guess if we had a pet, maybe we could, could can domesticate something. Um, flour. Okay. And then we also have sugar, and then mayo, and then cheese. Gotcha. Okay, so that's how we make something that we can make a pizza at some point. That'll be cool. I'm definitely gonna have to check out the museum then, sooner or later. Because I definitely think we should donate base materials first, um, and then work our way out from there. Because after we donate some base materials, we can use whatever extra base materials we have freely, knowing that we can use them for other materials to donate to the museum without knowing we're not wasting anything, you know? So like, you know, all the ingredients to a pizza, I should make sure that all the ingredients that go to make a pizza have been properly donated to the museum. And before that, all the ingredients used to make the, the ingredients, all the materials are also donated. That's sort of the smartest thing we could do. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. Lots of ore waiting for us in all corners of the earth. So I have that other area to check out now, right? Yeah. I always like there's a little character or something weird on there, so. Let's give that a look in a moment. It's just like one of those things where it's like, now that I know I need every material, it has solidified the idea of just knocking down everything as we go, but there's so much stuff now, it's literally impossible to do that. We will start, like more things will start spawning back before I ever have the chance. It looks like a princess. Oh, I wanna, oh, I wanna see what you're up to. Maybe you're just hanging out. The, the princess of the de desert. I mean, maybe you just like crowns. Shouldn't assume that you're just a princess because you have a crown, but I mean, I don't think it's the worst thing to assume. Hey, what's up? Lovely to meet you, friend. My name is Anna Banana. Oh, I like that name. It's hard being a princess in desert. Caught it! No flowers grow here, a flowerless princess. It's absolutely awful. Think you could help me here? 145, I have in total, you need 40, you got it. These are beautiful, thank you so much. I hope you like animals. This will help you find more of them. Oh, nice, what did we get? We got Anna's Delight. Help the princess. Um, yeah, Anna's Delight, we have two of them. I guess it would attract more animals. I don't know if I want that right now. Since you helped me, I wanna help you. I can make a rare form of clothing that will make animals love you forever. Bring me the materials I need, uh, and I will make it for you. Two, I, I still don't know how to make that. I wish you could tell me, but. Doesn't look like you want to give me those kind of details. Well, thank you, Anna Banana. All right, well, there's lots of ores on here. You have a nice little kingdom. Uh, keep eating fish. Very nice. I mean, this rate, I mean, I don't have too much money to, but soon enough we'll want to buy another island so that we can sort of see what else we can get done. Because it feels like right now I don't have too much to progress with. I mean, obviously the materials themselves, but I mean, I guess then I should focus on that. But until I find out how to make royal stuff, I feel like I'm at this little bit of an impasse. So, what did I want to make now? I can make a golden sword super easy. Uh, anything else? Uh, the big wallet, I can make that super easy as well. Um, and then anything else really? The flour I do need to make at some point. I'm sort of curious, let's just make like some cooked fish. See if that's any better. Got some more fish to grab here as well. I don't know if I should be selling stuff like my anchors. Like, I, I feel like I should be, you know? Because I have a lot of those at this point, if you take a look. Like, I have five of them. Like, I wanna get this stuff out of this part of the inventory and get actual things like this and that in there. And then these. See, I don't know why those weren't going. I guess because those ones were from, from the chest. And I got the rubies. Okay. So I need an ingot one. That's gonna be the next big step. So can I make that? Actually, let me get rid of this guy because he's gonna beat me up anyways. And then his friend is down this way. Destroy him. Beat him up. And what about the chicken? Do you have anything? You have an egg? Yay! Surprise, surprise. Okay, whoa, run chicken, run. Okay, we're doing pretty nice. There's another slime. <laughs> There's so many of them. And we'll get this stuff and then I gotta turn around and make another chest thing. Still don't know about this little thing. Oh my gosh, there's so much ore though. I need to get all of it. Oh, there's another one. My energy is low, I'll help you with that. One, two, three, four. I just I end up going in these giant circles of just finding stuff. So I'll grab this one and then I'll dig up these two spots because I, I am almost positive um, the dinosaur egg is going to be 
in the ground, because I think they're sort of taking a page out of Stardew Valley, if you don't know. In Stardew Valley, you can dig stuff out of the ground. You can find um, an old thing. You can find a dinosaur egg, and then you can put it in an egg incubator and actually grow a dinosaur. And that's a cool thing to do in Stardew Valley. So I'm pretty sure that's how you do it here, is you're just gonna give them the egg that you find in the ground. So, gotta make sure I dig up all the ground spots. For the royal thing, I just feel like I need to find new stuff, you know? The royal material. Because there's also apparently royal ingots, or was it like royal something? Can I activate this again? I can. Forging obelisk, gain bonus experience from gathering herbs and crops. I swear though, like I wasn't really paying attention. Probably should have been. All right. Anyways, build, economic, I need more bricks, okay. That's why I wanted to find out, that's why I wanted to hop to that sooner. But I am a dingus. Okay, bricks, no, not just one. Anyways, we got this thing. Big wad of coins are worth 200% more. Like in total, I feel like they, they're not explaining that perfectly. I think that it means 200% more than when we originally began the adventure, not 200% more than what they were just mo like before I picked up the wallet, because that'd be way ton, like a huge ton, you know? I just don't think it's that much. I mean, I could be wrong, but I think they're just not explaining it in the most clear of ways. Let me dig some stuff up. I need to make bridges to that area. Farming, bridge. I thought I did, but I guess I didn't. Good stuff. All right, your energy is low. Does it cost energy for you to build stuff? We are so close to the next level. Or at least pretty close comparatively to most things. Hmm. Get this iron. And then we gotta make more bricks. I don't know what, I, what I'm doing over this way. Can't make bricks from over here. But there's just so much. It's so tempting all the time. All right, well, we're almost wrapped up for today's episode, I think. Maybe we'll go like another 10 minutes or so, or something like that. What do you got here? Oh, we got more of Anna Banana's thing. Don't know what that is. And bread. Don't really need it. Need to save my money for expanding the world. Okay, so bricks make like, f not 50, 20 bricks. I got this one this way. Thank you. All right, so. Yeah, I think it'll be good just to wait for some more stuff like that. Cause now I have, oh no, I have 10 now. So I should be able to make it. Economic, vault, no I need 14. Okay, so I need to wait for four more to be made. That should be pretty easy. Got some citrus out of that. I mean, I actually got all the citrus I need, so I don't know if we need saplings. I wanna go back into the museum, but I know that things like don't progress when you're inside of buildings like that, so I also don't wanna be in the museum. I'll pick you up. I'm glad that the fairies respawn though. Like that's been nice and helpful. Hmm. Okay, have you made four yet? Uh, no, I have 13 until I need to make one more. Come on, you can do it, buddy. Okay, we'll just get this gold ore to eat up some time. I definitely need to use those other furnaces soon because, I don't know, it's just good to balance all of that. So I do know. Uh, so for you, I mean, we don't really need too much more coal, but I'll make 25 or 20 more, 20 more will be good. And then, I think iron ingots would be a nice next step. Uh, let's make 20 more of that. We just need to start doing larger batches of everything to stay productive. Uh, so gold ingots now. We can make 20 more of those as well. It'd be perfect. Okay, so we should have enough for another one of these, so. Economic, vault, and then we gotta look. What is the materials we need for a bank? Level 20, nice! Okay, so we got another skill point. Good to jump into this as soon as we can. Uh. And there's like alchemy still, unlock shrines. Oh my gosh, so, I mean, looking at all the stuff that like I can actually do at this point. Textiles, unlocks, like I wanna, I'm sort of curious what boots and gloves even do. So I think I wanna try this one. And then for that we unlock jewelry, which is not yet implemented, unlocks amulets, gems of 20% more coins, and then craftsmanship, which is implemented, unlocks royal steel, unlocks royal clothing. So where was the carpentry? that unlocks, I mean, here's sewing, unlocks leather. So this must have unlocked steel, unlocks glass, leather. It must be down this way, like if we do carpentry, and then masonry, unlocks braziers. I feel like if we can do royal steel, soon enough we're gonna be able to do other stuff too. But no, it has royal clothing as well. Royal steel, royal clothing. Okay, I mean, I'm, I'm just being a dingus then. So we need to get that one next to continue with the game, for sure. So we now know what to do with that. 
Okay, so, basic gloves. I don't know what this does, but we're gonna try it out. We have the materials for it. And did we ever, yes we did. Uh, so for this one, once again, we're gonna have gold, uh, well, glass too, but let me reorganize this. We need, first off, it's going to have to be iron. Actually, no, if we want it like based on like what the kind of material is and building up, we want bricks, iron, gold, steel, and then it's like miscellaneous, like glass. That's sort of a better combo. Just I'm trying to keep things organized because that's always just mindful of things to do. So I remember when I wasn't keeping things very organized in uh, Minecraft, that would get really crazy. I'd be like, where are all my things? And be happy to like, spend half an episode looking for one thing. Don't want that to happen here. What is this, the shop selling? Ooh, that's always tempting. I'm not gonna take it a bomb. Whoa, that's crazy. Okay. Let me spend the rest of my energy I have right now knocking down some trees. That way we can use that little ferry to uh, fill it all up. Okay, we got some stones here to work on. Like this one, got some coal. Definitely has not been as hard to get coal anymore. Like I feel like we're past that part, which is great, especially with all the trees we get. That also gives us a big bonus. But we're one step closer to getting your royal thing because now we know actually how to reach it. You know, how to get to that goal. So level 20 is a long ways off. Okay, well that was okay amount of energy spent. Could have spent more, but it's fine. Let's pick up all of this and we got the gloves. So what did the gloves do? Basic gloves, attack speed increased by 20%. Really? Nice, okay. That's gonna you know, make it easier to spend energy. That must mean that these make us run faster. Let's do that. Okay, so trying to figure out what we wanna do next. I think I wanna go to the spooky area really quickly and sort of figure out what's sitting around there. Cause it looks like we have a couple more pumpkins which I would love to get. And then of course some digging spots to work with. Is there anything behind? No, not really. Don't really care for the trees in this area. Oh, it is so much faster. It is so much faster. I don't even care about the skeletons, just keep digging. It's so nice, it's so nice. Oh, I'm so happy. We'll get this one, cause this is my way. Get the trees, there we go. So you know what, I think we need to make a trip to the museum. Start figuring that stuff out. Because how many, we have five anchors in total. I think it would be good to keep one of them, but I think we need to donate five in total, like that's sort of the problem. For foraging though, like what, what do we have, what do we don't have? The flowers we could definitely donate, so I just gotta get those. The flowers, the cactus stuff, and then there's two on the bottom, I just don't understand what those are. I'll we'll have to find out. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Hmm. That shouldn't be too bad. I could actually donate 50 wheat right now, so let's go ahead and do that. I guess holding the button down is always a bit quicker. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so boom, 50 of those. I swear I donated 50 of these, but I guess I didn't. All right, well, let me do that now. That's gonna work out, I guess. We don't have the egg in here right now, the eggs. For mining, like we could donate 50 stone and 50 coal, like all that stuff is just sort of a pain in the butt. But luckily for the more expensive stuff, the emeralds, oh, we only have to do five of those. I always have to do 50 of each of those. Alchemy. I mean, we haven't really gotten even started with alchemy. And then the anchor, let's just do one anchor. I thought we needed five of those as well, just one. That's easy, I could sell the rest, I can keep one. The bricks, ugh, 50 bricks is a pain. 50 steel is a pain, that's insane. Um, the glass is sort of a pain. Don't know what the little house scroll is, sort of excited to see that. But my best bet for right now is obviously foraging. Foraging is my best bet to complete. That's what I'm gonna work on, because we could already do two more of these. And then like five of these is all I have, so I can't really do that one too much. But for now, the best way to figure all that out is just to keep organizing my inventory. If I can organize first, then I can work on growing that that amount of things exponentially, and it's still you know working and not driving me insane. So I just sort of tackle it like real life. Organization makes for a healthy life. Okay, got some bones there. And like it doesn't have to be perfectly organized because that'd probably be next to impossible to do anyways. All right, so our character's hungry. Starting to run low on fish, I don't know if I need to start making more. It's not really getting too much. But uh, oh the boots, yeah, this should make us run faster, I can only assume. Move speed increased by 25% gives a 10% chance to dodge attacks. We have a pretty high chance of dodging attacks at this rate. So I need to make more steel. Like whatever the game will let me make in steel right now, because we have a lot. Let's make like 14 steel, that's really good. Um, when it comes to this, we can make 
More stuff soon. We'll make 15 of these. Um, should I make more coins? I only have one gold ingot, so you know what? We'll make 20 of this. We will make a lot of this, as much coal as I have left. Got it. And then, well I can't really do too much more, I'm out of coal, so I could make another thing making more coal, because I still have what? Oh, 400 wood, we're fine. I can make another like 20 here. That way it's sort of working twice as fast to make coal, that's nice. And then in the meantime, if I could scavenge for more coal, that would be great. Ooh, got another emerald. I gotta start donating those, because I have like 19, like I have a lot of those now, so it's not really that big of a deal to cash those in anymore. So I might start doing that for the museum as well. That was like a big to-do list with the museum. I definitely wanna get it done. What do we got here? There's still the same stuff for this. Okay, but I did wanna sell one, two, three, cause that's gonna give me, wow, that's a lot of money. Okay, so I could actually, I'm gonna hold on to it for now because I just don't have enough time in today's episode. Open up all of this. Nice, nice, nice. And how are we doing with our next vault? Also, how much do I need for, I could make a bank instead. You know what, now that I have this huge chunk of cash, you better bet I'm going to. There we go. So, 188 experience, which is nice. Uh, oh, it just makes money. Okay, I thought I could deposit my money and it would make money based on that. Okay. I mean, I'm fine with how that is. I just didn't expect it to be that way. Okay, free money every once in a while, that's nice. It is nice to move a little bit faster though. Say that much. And attacking faster, I definitely wanna get more gloves. Like gloves are now a huge priority because attacking faster just makes everything easier. I'm definitely getting more experience for this stuff. 10 each now? Maybe not. I need to start cooking meat. That's another thing I need to do. Um, I never, did I ever eat my cooked fish? Ow, who's attacking me? Okay, I thought somebody was attacking me. Um, because I, I don't trust you. Oh, dodged, dodged 10 attacks. But um, I never tried these. Like they give me 28 energy instead of uh, 16. So I can only eat two of those before I'm like basically full with it. Uh, so you get this coal, get that coal. That's some pretty easy coal to get because we get five each. There's more down this way. That should be another five, right? Looks like it. 37 coal in total, we'll get a lot more soon too. What's nice is that when we, we, we start chopping down stuff like this, it's all going to the chests. All of it. And that's just some great progress. Get rid of you, sir. It would be cool just to be able to make armor, you know? I feel like that's sort of a little while away, if possible. Like whatever these final three slots are. Oh, wrong thing. This final one slot, who knows? I just need more leather, which I can make. Let's go ahead and make 10. I know I only need four. That'll be good. It's so easy just to lose track of time playing a game like this. It's both awesome and not so awesome. This game, I know people say that about every single video game in existence right now, but it would be perfect for the Switch because it's a really great time killer. I mean, obviously it's not quite done. Times four. See, like, okay, so there's, so I can activate it and get money from it, but if I leave it, maybe it makes it faster each time or something. Uh, okay. So I really need to get to doing this. I need more bricks then, which shouldn't be too bad. I can actually just do that right now and just make a ton. Yeah, let's make 25 bricks. Okay, so leather, I have four now. So once this is done, I got that done. <laughs> and then after that, I have to be done for today's episode. Oh my gosh, had too much fun. That's never a bad thing, unless you're on a schedule. <laughs> Okay, get rid of these cacti. I'm exhausted. Me too, buddy. Me too. I feel ya. I gotta stop doing that with the fish, though. I need to cook them. Because I, I don't think you need to even add any coal. I think you just put the fish in. If that's the case, that makes it easy. Like, that makes it a no-brainer. I gotta check, though, just to make sure. Because that doesn't seem right, you know? Let's find out. Picking up all these fish. Got an open furnace right here. The cooked fish, no, it's also coal. So like, I don't think that's really worth the, the trade at the moment. I don't know about the meat. I can only assume that's the same idea. Okay, so yeah, when I bust these, I still get three experience. So what is this obelisk malarkey going to do? Like apparently, 
foraging isn't changing this. Like, there you go, foraging albus gain bonus experience from gathering herbs and crops. Are these not herbs or crops? Maybe they're not herbs and crops that I made, I got, maybe that's what it's trying to say? Because I'm not getting any bonus experience for it. At least none that's, you know, pointing out. It still says three experience whenever I pick anything up. That's a, what I would imagine is at least a crop, like that. So I don't know what kind of baloney it's preaching, but I, I'm not buying it right now. Okay, so I'm gonna use up the last of my energy so I can pick up that fairy. Got it. I know he's hungry, but he can he can go a couple more hits. Knock down this one last tree. There we go. I'm glad he warns me pretty far ahead of time though. Like that's appreciated. Okay, so it definitely is harder to control him now that he moves fast, like really fast. Let's go ahead and make the metal gloves so I can attack even faster. <laughs> I have a lot of fun with that. Pick up those bricks. How am I doing with bricks then? Uh, the bricks aren't in my inventory, so I can't find out that way. Economic, need one more brick. Yeah, okay. Pick it up. And move back this way and make it. Bought. Gotcha. Okay, so with this one, what should we make it? I mean, maybe we should make it like flower stuff, but at the same time, I don't know. I only have one of these now. Did I put them somewhere? I must have. In here, no? What do we got going on? Like that's, that's gems. This is just sort of a random assortment of things. So I need to like sort of figure this out a little bit. I think this should be like things monsters and animals drop. So the eggs are good. Then we should get uh, the slime and then the skulls. That'll be pretty good there. And then the meat and then the leather. I don't think they drop anything else. So that'd be a pretty good combo. And anything else in here? for this. This is like base material, so, I mean, flowers and stuff would work. Let's do sand, though. Sand makes more sense to me. And then coal. I don't know why coal's not even in, like, not already in there. That's sort of weird. Um, so this is food, but instead of this, I think we should get something else in there. I'm thinking, I mean, I guess these would be fine. And for this, this is uh, the, the pro produced things. So I think leather would be fine. Oh, I had the coal in. That doesn't make too much sense. I think the coal works better in there. Okay, so there's that. Hmm. And then beyond all that, I think that's how we'll just organize it for that one. Now this one can be more materials, I guess. It's just so much. It's so overwhelmingly much. I just, I really don't even know. For this one, we might just have to make it like a dump for right now. Just dump a bunch of stuff in there and we'll get that. Sir, you were waiting for me. I appreciate it. I don't appreciate it that much. All right, well, with all of that being said and done, I really think that's where we have to wrap it up for today's episode. I, I really just, I need to be done playing because I'm gonna play until like I fall over. Let's just get the metal gloves. Attack speed increased by another 40%. Very nice. We'll utilize all of that and more in the next episode of Forager. If you want to support a video, make sure you comment Zebra Skeleton so I know you've watched the end of the video and that you are a Zebra-tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.